Welcome back and you're watching Commodity Champions. We now shift the spotlight to an Indian staple, which is pulses, which have seen the prices spike as erratic rainfall has led to lesser area being sown. The farmers have shifted to more competitive crops, has only constrained produce further. So are there any solutions available to the government? Mr. Vimal Kothari, Vice Chairman of the India Pulses and Grain Association, now joins us on the show. Mr. Kothari, one, uh, the last three months actually have seen the pulses prices gain up quite strongly. When I look at Tuar, Urad or Moong, we've seen prices gain any between 18 to 25 percent in last three months. How do you look at that? Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> First of all, uh, I'll, uh, in fact, I do not agree uh, to your uh, uh, statistics, what you have just mentioned. Okay. In fact, uh, if you look at the prices in August, I'll go uh, first uh, by each crop, uh, each crop by like the curry crops, tour, order and moon. Hmm. So if you take, say, for example, tour, so if you take the tour, the prices in July, August were much higher than what the prices are now. Okay. In fact, the prices, uh, price of tour in uh, September has come down almost by 8 to 10 rupees a kilo, mm. and which has again improved by another 4, four 5 rupees a kilo. So I don't think the price of tour has gone up by 25%. And um, and uh, and we, in our previous conversation, we have all, uh, I have already mentioned that once the crop from Africa starts and we, we get the arrivals, then the prices will stabilize, prices will come, they will start coming down. And we have seen the result, prices came down by almost 10 rupees a kilo, which is a little bit improved by uh, four or five rupees, but it's still, they are, they are selling much below the minimum support price, uh, if you look at the imported tour. And uh, let me tell you, in the last one and a half month, we have seen uh, almost 150,000 of tour being imported at the various ports of India. Mm. And we are still, uh, this is import is still continuing, so I don't think there is any reason to worry about or concern about the prices of tour because uh, though we have the festival, uh, uh, the festival season is going on, but I, I see the price will remain stabilized and there's okay. nothing to worry about. Of course, as far as going for the tour crop, new crop is concerned, definitely <laughs> is concerned. As well, the government's fourth advanced estimate, the last, uh, the, what we have received is 43.2 lakh tons. And, and and now the first advanced estimate, which has been released on 21st September, as mm. it is, uh, the government's uh, estimate is 38.9 lakh tons, right. so which is almost five lakh tons down by since the last year, but since the for the advanced estimate. So uh, definitely there is going to be a concern for the new crop, mm. but uh, for the present, uh, I don't think there is any issue. Uh, the prices remain uh, stabilized. Prices will remain very competitive during uh, the festival season. For the next season, definitely for the next year, definitely there, there might be some issues, some concern, but we will see the crop from Myanmar coming uh, in the month of January, February. So I really don't think the prices are going to go up uh, quite uh, significantly. They, okay. they will remain um, uh, um, uh, at a certain level, and uh, I think consumers will not uh, consumers are not required to worry. All right. No, Mr. Kothari, uh, I, no. I also wanted to know about the October rain impact. Uh, do you see uh, the pulses as a sector uh, really looking at it with a concern to that? Yes, definitely. Definitely, we, uh, this October rain, last two weeks rain has definitely affected the, I'm sure that the, uh, the particularly the tour, uh, sorry, particularly the Udan and Moon, they are going to get affected. But we, uh, it's very difficult to assess the loss at the moment because some damage is definitely going to cause the uh, goes to the crops, uh, the quality may get uh, may, may, may get hampered, and um, and and I think there will be more damage percentage and uh, in order than the moon crop. But tour, I don't think there will be any issue. But anyway, tour production, uh, tour uh, sowing is uh, less this time, this uh, uh, less this year. So uh, so uh, there will be concern of the tour production for the next year. As far as Udas and Moong is concerned, they are also down by certain uh, some percentage. Um, but you see, um, Udas, we will have the, um, uh, we are import, the government has a, uh, given a free, uh, has announced a free policy till 31st March to import Udas and uh, tour from uh, various countries. So we are also getting the Udas from Myanmar. And, uh, and I think presently in Myanmar, about 2.5 lakh tons of the stock is still lying there. And new crop will uh, hit in the month of January. And in India also, we will see uh, a fairly good crop. We may see a fairly good crop of Udad in the month of February, the Ravi crop. 
So I don't think, uh, I, I'm really not concerned about the <laughs> okay. um, uh, very high uh, price. I, I get your point. Uh, so you're not worried I, about the prices right now. But tell me one thing, yes. uh, how are you looking, you know, the major demand for festivals will perhaps come in for Chana Basin is what gets consumed the most. And we do understand the kind of stocks that the government has. And it's a new ne next crop, really. Uh, how are you looking at the demand and availability there? Chana, as you know, already we had a record crop this year, 13.7 million tons as, as per the government uh, statistics. And of course, which we can also see that uh, despite government's procurement of 2.6 lakh tons Chana, the Chana is still uh, selling below minimum support price. So Chana availability is absolutely no issue. And, and uh, since we have very good crops, I'm, I'm sure the farmers are going to uh, grow Chana once again. And uh, we are going to see a fairly good crop. So uh, Chana supply as well as uh, the prices, definitely there is no uh, concern. The government should not be worried about this at all. And the consumer should be should be getting Chana and the basin at a very uh, fair All right. Price. So like edible oil, pulses as a sector also has no major concerns as far as availability and affordability is concerned. Mr. Kothari, as always, thank you so much for joining us and giving us a sense on what really is happening in the pulses sector. But moving gears, and let's get some sweet into our palate then. And India has emerged as the world's largest producer and consumer of sugar, with more than 5,000 lakh tons of cane being produced in the country for the year uh, 2022. The country has also become the world's second largest exporter following the breaking record season that we have seen. The high crude oil prices along with increased demand from biofuel producers has also helped prices recover this week from a 14-month lows. So what lies in store for this sector? Praful Vitlani is with us on the show. Mr. Vitlani, hi. First of all, on to 